Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to have you here with me today because I'm going to show you the results of my facial vein sclerotherapy, my facial vein treatment. I had some really bad veins on my forehead up here and on the side here and I went to see Dr. Fort in Schenectady, New York and for those of you who follow my channel, one of my blockbuster videos, and I say that because although I look really terrible in this particular video, it is my most seen video ever with nearly a million views, and it is on a hand vein treatment I had with Dr. Fort back in 2009. It's been 11 years, and a lot of you compliment me on my hands. Well, I'll show you my hands right now, and this is how they look now. And in 2009, I had absolutely ungodly terrible hand veins. I mean, they were ugly. And I'm going to show you my before and after picture. If you haven't seen that video, you will be amazed. And here are my hands before and after. Here is one hand here. And as you can see, I had really, really gnarly veins in the before and in the after, it was just rather beautiful. And then you can see the other hand there, it was also just as bad. And as I mentioned, that is my most popular video ever. And I think it's because people can hardly believe the good results. After I had my hand veins injected with Dr. Fort, I went to a local woman's fair here in Wichita and I visited several of the vein sclerosing booths. I showed them the before and after pictures and they said, this is not possible to do this. And so I realized at that point that I would always go back to Dr. Fort whenever I had vein issues because he really is an expert in this sort of procedure. I'm a board certified uh, surgeon. I'm a board certified vein specialist. I've been doing this for over 25 years, but there are hundreds and hundreds of well-credentialed physicians in this country who still don't know how to take care of a simple varicose vein. And I was getting a few of those little hand veins back after 11 years now. And if you'd like to see a follow-up on that hand vein video after 11 years and see you know how far I've come and what changed in that 11 years, then please leave a comment below the video because I would love to show you the results of that hand vein experience that I had with Dr. Fort. But in this video, I'm going to show you about the facial vein treatment that I had and I will show you pictures in just a few moments. And I actually went to Schenectady again back in September, and I know that's been a long time, that's been about eight months. I went and had my facial veins injected, and it takes a while for them to heal. Basically, they just look a little blue, and you cover them with makeup for maybe a week, but then you don't really see them that much. You can cover it with makeup, but they get a little darker blue, and it can take four to five, six months to totally heal. And I would have shown this to you earlier, but as many of you know, Right after September, I kind of disappeared from YouTube for about six months. I had a little bit of an overwhelm period, and so I just quit doing YouTube altogether. My work had really picked up. I'm still working full time. And so for six months, I did not do any YouTube. And then I came back around Christmas, and I'm finally getting around to showing you this face vein video. And I have to say, I think Dr. Fort is absolutely wonderful. And before I get into that, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email notification of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be great too. Okay, let's get down to discussing face veins. And as we get older, we ladies can get veins all over our body. And for the most part, veins are great. They do help us. But for the ones that really show and bulge and you know have issues, you can have pretty much any vein anywhere on your body sclerosed. And that's what Dr. Fort did for me. Blue veins respond really, really well to sclerotherapy, arm veins, face veins. They're very nice about getting injected, and you'll awesome. be happy with the results. And before awesome. I get into the specifics of exactly what he did, and I'll show you a little bit of that procedure, let me show you the morning of the procedure. And I took this video just before I went in to see Dr. Fort, and I had no makeup on. And as you can see in the video, my face veins were kind of prominent. There you are. You can see the veins that I'm dealing with. This is a branching set of veins here, 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 down through the middle of my forehead which it's normally not visible under makeup at all. And it's just gotten more visible in the last month or so, actually. And then over here, I've got some veins on the temple area, which is a very common area to get veins. And then I've got these forehead veins. And I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of sticks out here. And then I'm back to the middle veins. Okay, as you can see, they were kind of prominent, although I have to admit, I had sort of like flexed my face. Believe me, my veins weren't quite that bad, just looking at them in real life. 
and they were cover upable that's not really a word with makeup but they were starting to get more and more prominent and i was really worried about how they would look in the future so i'm really glad i got them taken care of and now i'll show you a before and an after still picture of some of those veins and so here you can see that in the before picture i had very very prominent veins and in the after picture you really can't see them anymore and i was really pleased with the results of that because it just gave me back a more natural looking forehead which i had had years before and dr fort injects the veins with two different types of sclerosing solutions the first is called polydocanol it's a detergent type solution and the second is called tetradisyl sulfate i believe i said that right but both of them are actually just mild detergent solutions and he injects them in the veins and over about four to six weeks the vein just gradually dissolves and these are very safe fda approved solutions which have actually been used since the 40s and doctors have a lot of experience with using them to treat unwanted veins ones that bulge or are too dark or something like that as dr ford explains unsightly veins can be treated just about any place on the body you can take care of veins anywhere the face, the, uh, the uh, temporal area, the hands, the arms. I've had people with abdominal veins. We also do vaginal varicosities, which uh, patients have complaints about, a lot of pressure in their pelvis, pain. And so those can also be taken care of. Now the results of the vein treatments really are dramatic, but as Dr. Ford explains, it's really a rather safe procedure. We can inject any vein on, on the face. Again in the face because we have like structures like our eye, our lips, that the patients are a lot more concerned if I inject a superficial vein in the face. But what I tell them, it's the same thing whether it's a superficial vein up here or in your leg. It's just like injecting any vein elsewhere in the body. It is not more dangerous. It has no more consequences. And actually it's going to be easier for the vein to be eliminated because there's very little pressure or no pressure in the head, face, and neck, and arms. So and the healing process for me on my face veins was just as Dr. Fort predicted. I had some bruising that lasted about seven to 10 days, but it was very cover upable. That's not a word, but with makeup, I could cover it up and it looked just fine. And then the veins were kind of a dark blue for two to three months, but I could definitely cover them with makeup. It was not a problem at all. So once we inject uh, face veins, uh, you know, they're gonna change in its appearance. They're gonna get right. a little darker. They get a little firm or rubbery. You're not gonna notice that till the second or third day afterwards. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have bruising, and that's just absolutely normal. And you'll see that, and that should go away in about a week. And now here I am eight months later, and you can't tell anything was done. And during the procedure, other than the kind of apprehension you feel whenever anybody puts a needle in your face, there really was no pain. I made him a head. pressure there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hold that for me. Mm -hmm. There you go, just like that. Okay. There's my face again. Does not look too bad at all. I'll come in it up close there for you. I really had extensive veining on my forehead, but he said the eye veins are very difficult to do and he probably did not get those, but that's okay. Okay, here I am about three hours after I had the face veins done. I do have makeup on. I don't know if you can see that. It's still bumpy up there and bruised but I think everything was fairly cover upable with makeup. We're going to a movie tonight. We're still in Albany and we love to get a movie. So that's how the face looks at this point. So that was a look at my facial vein injections. And I just love Dr. Fort. I feel like he's an expert and he really does care about his patients. I am thrilled to see how many women find that the, their lives change, that they're happier, that they go about now things that they could not do either because they have unsightly veins in their legs, their hands, or anywhere else in the body. Well, that was a look at my facial vein treatment procedure, and I am very happy with the results. I've placed Dr. Fort's information below the video if you'd like to contact him. He did do my facial veins at a greatly reduced price, because I guess after my hand vein video, he had people calling him from around the world. He even had a woman call him from Paris to do her hand veins. I don't receive anything if you contact Dr. Ford, if you use him or not but I thought some of you might want to have his contact information. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Hopefully we'll get something really positive to think about for today. There we go, it's a long one. 
Whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my own inner light. Oh my, I love this. Whenever I compare myself to others, I simply say this prayer. The light I see in them is a reflection of my own inner light. I absolutely love this card because basically it says that the people around us are mirrors of our own self, either the good things or the bad things within us. And I've often noticed that when I look out at others and I judge them harshly, in many cases when I'm totally honest with myself, it's something that's actually inside me. And I absolutely love this card because it says when we see others that we admire, we should say a little prayer, the light I see in them is a reflection of my own inner light. And actually, if their good characteristics aren't inside of us, we can pray to God to say, Lord, let me reflect the inner light that they have. If that's peace or beauty or love or caring for others, let me have more of that in my own personality. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.